Hey guys, we're back. This time we're going to be taking a look at another tank for Gelpor's 9th Tank Games. This time around it's the German Panther. And uh, these actually came in the starter set, the Panther vs. Sherman. And I wanted to take a look at the individual pack that's sold separately to see what kind of cards came with it and to show off the fact that it comes with the regular Panther as well as the Yeg Panther. And uh, we'll get in and take a look. I have to say, too, I hate these new packaging with the pressed seams. Uh, the old ones used to just pop open these. you got to, like, cut the whole side off, and they're a pain in the butt to get open. And um, I guess it's more secure because you don't have to worry about people opening them up in the store, but at the same time, yeah, they're a heck to get into. So we have a nice artwork of the panther there. And it's a Desert War camo. Got our lower chassis here, it's pretty much the same for both. They share the whole lower hull. Then you have a complete separate build for the top half. The Yeg Panther has a big gun, I think it's the 88, I'm not positive. And uh, becomes a nice tank hunter. The Panther, on the other hand, has a slightly smaller, I'm not sure what gun came on those. I'm sure someone will yell at me in the comments. But uh, it's got the side skirt armor plating there. The cool thing about the model kit, though, is that if you don't glue the top half of the hull to the bottom half, it comes with parts for both. And I've seen people magnetize along this lip here on the uh, lower half to the top. And you can actually pick and choose and swap back and forth between both. It's cool that they give you the parts to build both. So for the Panther here, we got 32 points. Uh, seven initiative is really nice. Five uh, damage is up there. Two armor is pretty good for a tank this size. Six hull points. As with all German tanks, you have the Blitzkrieg ability, which allows you to make a move instead of a uh, repair roll during the command phase, which is really nice. And then a little fluff text down here, the uh, Panther did have the 75mm gun. And uh, long barrel, too. Onto the Egg Panther. It's 35 points. This one has the assault gun rule because it's a uh, tank hunter. Six initiative, six damage is very nice. Again, two armor, six haul, pretty standard for a tank of that size. Blitzkrieg again. And the fluff text down here does confirm that it was upgraded to the 88, which is the same gun that ended up being on the Tigers that caused so much havoc. Beast of a weapon. And, um,. Uh, Keep in mind, because of the assault gun rules, you have to um, shoot at targets that are either completely in front of you or within the uh, fire arc of the front hull. There's a whole section on that in the main rule book. But both can have a complement of four crew, which is also nice. For our upgrade cards, we do get a new uh, unique commander, Dr. Franz ba Baki. Six points. Gives you one damage if a target's at close range. Before the game begins, this tank can make a normal move. Gives you that cool little additional Blitzkrieg type move at the beginning of the game. And that uh, bonus to close range. So, gives you an incentive to get right on top of people. That is a German unique commander as well. Next for our upgrades, we have a Tugsten Shot, which is a German card. Two points. Discard this card to gain plus one damage. If you roll two or more ones with this attack, the entire attack misses. Got to be careful on that. If you hit, it can hit hard, especially combined with our commander there. If you're at close range, it's though pretty easy to miss with it though as well. And then it becomes a wasted uh, card. And the rest are universal upgrades. First one is a crewman here, Dead Eye Gunner, three points. This tank may upgrade one uncanceled hit into a critical. Very nice. Next we have a radio op, the radio coordinator for three points. During the shooting phase, another friendly tank gains this tank's initiative. If you're using the uh, Panther with that seven initiative, that can be very nice to uh, swap over to something that may be a bit slower. And finally we have toolkit here for one point. And this tank may reroll a failed repair rolls for busted track, damage engine, or jam turret. Nice thing about this one is it's not a discard, so if you happen to get more than one, you can keep using it. Can't go wrong with that for one point. 
onto our spruces here. We have our lower hull here, which is going to be shared for both tanks. There's the upper hull for the Panther. We have our side armor platings and the turret mounts. Then we have some extra tracks here. Onto the other side, we have our upper and lower turret for the Panther, the Egg Panther's upper hull. This, I think, is the gun mount, mantle mount for the, uh, for goes right here for the 88. There's our exhaust pipes and the rear section. I have a couple extra bits. Yeah. I have a couple extra bits here. These look like lights, maybe. It's hard to tell things are so small scale. And uh, there's a hull mounted machine gun for the Panther. And of course, the bottom mount for the turret. And on the other spruce here, we have our treads, some more extra track links. I believe these are fenders, go over the front of the tracks. We've got a couple spare wheels, I think those are. That's a hatch. Those are our exhaust pipes here. We got more side hull armor. Uh, some more hatch doors down here. That looks like a top hatch there. We've got a couple more options for the home mounted machine gun. And we have our 88 here and then the long barrel 75. And then a couple extra bits there on the end. And I don't have the Yag Panther assembled. I'll splice that in here at the end, but I do have the regular Panther. And I've done mine up in primer gray to match the uh, German tanks, but gives you an idea what that looks like. Extra wheels up there, those extra track links along the turret. Pretty cool model. I love the, the long barrel 75. And like I said, I'll, I'll show you the uh, Jag Panther here. So there's a look at the Jag Panther assembled and uh, I haven't done anything with these yet but I uh, plan to put some magnets on there so that you can remove this top half put on the standard panther top half and you'll be able to use pick and choose either tank and uh, Neat that the kit let you do that. I wish there was a way just to buy the tracks though because I would love to have just both available without having to swap them. But of course you can't buy just the tracks anywhere. But it's a neat little kit that gives you the option for both. And that's going to wrap it up for our look at the Panther expansion. Pretty much everything is the same as what you get in the starter set one except the named character. I think he's a new one. Other than that everything else is the same. Can't go wrong with having extras of these though. As I said, with my original ones, I did glue them together. But with the uh, with the uh, new one here, I'm going to do the magnet thing and make it so that they can be interchanged between the Panther and the Egg Panther, depending on what I'm planning on using it for. And that way I have a little more versatility in my builds. I know I talked about it in the original starter set video. I wish I had actually kept through with it on those. But for now, I was using the Panther more at the time. So it made more sense to do it that way then. Now I'm going to have both, so I'll have options available. Anyway, that's going to wrap it up for our look at the Panther. As always, thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.